Time to talk some Gators here on Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. The best way to do that is, of course, we're bringing David Waters from Gators Breakdown. Uh, you can, of course, catch uh, David on Gators Breakdown. That's on Twitter and then all your major audio platforms and also the YouTube channel right here, Gators Breakdown. So David and I go back a ways and talking college football in the SEC. So David, appreciate you stopping by as always. No problem, Mark. Glad to be on. All right. I got to ask first and foremost about Dan Mullen, just because yeah. of obviously new head coach, you were extremely familiar with him from the time at Florida, but also at Mississippi State. It's only been a few months, and obviously the team hasn't played a game and just got to spring practice, but what what's the difference for you between Jim McElwain and the way he ran a program versus what we've seen out of Dan Mullen? Uh, Dan Mullen is what the way it seems genuinely happy to be there. You know, Michael Wayne, when he first come in, he had some jokes. He had, uh, you know, some things that won the crowd over, but it was more based on, okay, what he done at Alabama as an offensive coordinator, what he had did to turn around Colorado state. And there was a little bit of hope that he could do the same thing at Florida. Uh, with Dan Mullen, it's been, look, he's been here. He gets it. Yes. He was the offensive coordinator under, uh, urban Meyer, but look, ever since Dan Mullen left, ever since Tim Tebow left, the Florida offense has left. So Dan Mullen was a, a big part of that. So, you know, he had his time at Florida. He had his time winning as an SEC coach at Mississippi State, taking a program that historically doesn't compete with Alabama and Auburn and LSU and, and you know, had games every year in and out where Mississippi State either won those games or played those teams pretty tough. So – you know, yes, this revision is history. Yes, we can sit here and say we feel much better about Dan Mullen than we did about Jim McElwain. But, you know, Mark, it, it, a lot of Gator fans, and I've noticed it on Twitter this week, are saying how much they're enamored with what Dan Mullen is saying out in the public and how energetic he looks and how happy he looks. And it kind of goes back to, look, there was a lot of talk when who was Florida going to hire? Was it going to be Dan Mullen? Was it going to be Chip Kelly? Was it going to be Scott Frost? And I remember going back and kind of looking at my list and Dan Mullen and Scott Frost were my top two. And then the Chip Kelly talk come along, and I talked myself into liking that. But Dan Mullen was always at the top of my list. And he's exceeded so far. Look, as you said, no game has been played yet. But he's, he's exceeded every expectation so far. Uh, anyway, I got to see him here in person in Jacksonville when he did his tour stop, and he got to talk to, to fans. And uh, it was his first stop, and the fans were really excited. He answered questions, answered questions energetic. He didn't shy away, and he knows the expectations at Florida. He knows it's it's not – being happy to go to Atlanta and get your brains beat in by Alabama like Jim McElwain did. And, and Hey, let's feel sorry for ourselves because we got, uh, look, this, this is what we did. Uh, it, it could be worse. Well, yeah, it could have been worse, but Dan Mullen knows the expectation. It's to get to Atlanta. It's to win and go represent the, the SEC in a national title game. So he's not shying away from it. He knows the expectations and he's really, really coming on board with what the fans expect. 